this video is my review of I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This book was released on September 16th of this year, 2014, and I was sent this book to review uh, from the publisher Penguin. So thank you so much, Penguin, for sending me this book in return for my honest review. I'll Give You the Sun is a young adult contemporary book. It's about these twins named Noah and Jude. Noah's a boy, Jude is a girl, and it's kind of just about their life and their experiences in their life and their relationship and it's told from both of their perspectives. It switches between Noah and Jude and Noah is telling the story from when they were younger, whenever they were 13 years old. Noah is telling that story and it is focused on Noah in those chapters but I mean obviously Jude is there and then it switches to Jude's perspective and she's telling their story three years later when they are 16 and again it's mostly Jude's story in these chapters but Noah does make appearances um, and these chapters switch back and forth so you're constantly going from the past to the present and it's a very interesting way to tell this story. So I would give this book a four and a half stars out of five. I think it is a fantastic, amazing book and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but I was kind of torn on what to rate it and it's kind of hard for me to review this book for some reason. Um, I would give the writing of this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It's extremely well written. One of the most, if not the most, well written YA contemporary book I've ever read. But I would give it a 4 out of 5 stars on the enjoyment entertainment factor. So therefore I'm giving it a 4.5 stars. I said the writing is just brilliant. The way that Jandy Nelson weaves these two timelines together and the way she explores the relationship between Noah and Jude and just all the other characters that are involved is truly astounding. I was very impressed by this book, very impressed by the writing. Um, this book just explores so many things about life. It explores love and loss and sadness and grief and guilt and betrayal and just so many complicated things about life um, are in this book and I think they were incorporated in such a powerful way. This book has so many powerful messages. It brought me to tears at times especially towards the end and it's just a very emotional and deep book. As far as my enjoyment and the entertainment, what I was talking about, why I gave that aspect of it four stars, the writing style is kind of hard to get through at points, especially I felt with Noah's perspective because he's telling it at his age of 13. They're really in his mind in his chapters. So it's a very interesting writing style. It's very hard for me to explain, but it has a lot of metaphors. And Noah is a very unique little boy. And so I found it kind of hard to get through some parts of this book. Not that they were bad. I just got kind of dragged down by it. And this is definitely a character driven story, which I love and I appreciate. But it made things a little slow. And it's not an extremely long book. I just think with the writing style it drags down the pace a little bit. So that kind of hindered my entertainment of it. Another thing, I've just felt kind of disconnected from the story or I felt kind of apart from it. I don't know if it was just, you know, the mind state or the point in my life that I was reading it. While reading it, I knew that it was just a fantastic book, but for some reason I wasn't super emotionally connected to it or the characters and I think I just I'm very different from them so maybe I just really couldn't connect with what they were going through and so I guess that's why I felt kind of disconnected from the story and I couldn't fully embrace it. So yeah again that's another factor as to why I gave it four and a half. I just couldn't fully let myself get captivated by it for some reason. I feel bad for not being able to give you reasons why I couldn't fully embrace it, but I don't know. I just felt kind of disconnected from it. But with all of that said, if you're looking for a YA contemporary that's extremely powerful, extremely impactful, has a lot of themes and emotions and depth and just a really well-constructed story about so many aspects of life and about these two characters trying to overcome their differences, trying to overcome the struggles in their life and try to find their way back to each other. I was really surprised by some of the plot developments 
But like I said, it is a character-driven story, so if all of this sounds like something you would love, I suggest picking it up. It is definitely one of the most well-written YA contemporaries that I've read. So that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! They say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream, been this way since 18, but lately her face seems Slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastry